welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. We'll be here with you every day throughout the COVID-19 emergency. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Saturday, April 3rd, Holy Saturday. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. We begin with a lighted candle. A candle burning in the darkness is a powerful symbol of hope. We light this candle as a sign of our strong hope that God is with us no matter what comes. The candle also reminds us that Jesus said we would be lights for the world. We're called to live generously and graciously, taking care of one another in the name of Jesus. Please join me, if you'd like, in lighting a candle in your own home now. Let's pray. O oh God, creator of heaven and earth, grant that, as the crucified body of your dear Son was laid in the tomb and rested on this holy Sabbath, so we may await with him the coming of the third day and rise with him to newness of life, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now we turn to the pages of Holy Scripture. Today our readings begin in the book of Job, the 14th chapter. Man, born of woman, lives but a few days, and they are full of trouble. He grows up like a flower and then withers away. He flees like a shadow and does not remain. Do you fix your eye on such a one? And do you bring me before you for judgment? Who can make a clean thing come from an unclean? No one. Since man's days are determined, the number of his months is under your control. You have set his limit, and he cannot pass it. Look away from him, and let him desist until he fulfills his time like a hired hand. But there is hope for a tree. If it is cut down, it will sprout again, and its new shoots will not fail. Although its roots may grow old in the ground, and its stump begins to die in the soil, at the scent of water it will flourish and put forth shoots like a new plant. But man dies and is powerless. He expires, and where is he? As water disappears from the sea, or a river drains away and dries up, so man lies down and does not rise, until the heavens are no more. They will not awake nor arise from their sleep. Oh, that you would hide me in Sheol, and conceal me till your anger has passed. Oh, that you would set me a time and then remember me. If a man dies, will he live again? All the days of my hard service, I will wait until my release comes. Our psalm today is Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, I have taken shelter. Never let me be humiliated. Vindicate me by rescuing me. Listen to me. Quickly deliver me. Be my protector and refuge, a stronghold where I can be safe. For you are my high ridge and my stronghold. For the sake of your own reputation, you lead me and guide me. You will free me from the net they hid for me. You are my place of refuge. You determine my destiny. Rescue me from the power of my enemies and those who chase me. Smile on your servant. Deliver me because of your faithfulness. A reading from the first letter of Peter, the fourth chapter. So, since Christ suffered in the flesh, you also arm yourselves with the same attitude, because the one who has suffered in the flesh has finished with sin, in that he spends the rest of his time on earth concerned about the will of God and not human desires. For the time that has passed was sufficient for you to do what the non-Christians desire. You lived then in debauchery, evil desires, drunkenness, carousing, drinking bouts, and wanton idolatries. So they are astonished when you do not rush with them into the same flood of wickedness, and they vilify you. They will face a reckoning before Jesus Christ, who stands ready to judge the living and the dead. Now it was for this very purpose that the gospel was preached to those who are now dead, so that, though they were judged in the flesh by human standards, 
they may live spiritually by God's standards. For the culmination of all things is near. So be self-controlled and sober-minded for the sake of prayer. Above all, keep your love for one another fervent, because love covers a multitude of sins. Finally, in the Gospel of Matthew, the 27th chapter. Now, when it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered that it be given to him. Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut in the rock. Then he rolled a great stone across the entrance of the tomb and went away. Now Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were sitting there opposite the tomb. The next day, which is after the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees assembled before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember that while that deceiver was still alive, he said, After three days I will rise again. So give orders to secure the tomb until the third day. Otherwise his disciples may come and steal his body and say to the people, He has been raised from the dead, and the last deception will be worse than the first. Pilate said to them, Take a guard of soldiers, go and make it as secure as you can. So they went with the soldiers of the guard and made the tomb secure by sealing the stone. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. I'd like to invite you to pray out loud with me. Don't be embarrassed that you're praying with a video screen. I'm praying in an empty room. And yet, despite the strangeness, our technology is joining us in prayer right now, no matter when or where we are. So in that spirit, let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold. For the health and well-being of our nation, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the isolated and housebound, that we may be alert to their needs, 
and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For a blessing on our local communities, that our neighborhoods may be places of trust and friendship, where all are known and cared for. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. That'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org. And please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address in the program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.